hi all good morning and welcome to my new video this is for creating a load evaluator in Synapse 6.5 for that I am logging into my Windows Server 2008 where my Synapse is installed I just launch App Center hmm it's take a bit time so just wait for a minute okay here we go let me just expand my farm I did that go to load evaluator tab <coughs> as we all know we have default and advanced load evaluator by default and uh, there's a custom load evaluator which I created and uh, in today's tutorial we are going to do how to create a new load evaluator so right click click on new click on add load evaluator here we go just give the name of the load evaluator which you require the description so that the other guys will come to know what exactly you are going to do with your le and again what to contain in your custom load evaluator it's all depends upon you uh, you can either do an IP address uh, filtering let me click on add uh, here you can enter the IP address or the range which you require to allow or deny in this particular load evaluator so I am going to create an application user load so uh, I am just putting it 50 uh, and let me check ok I am only having notepad so the 50 notepad uses uh, 50 uses connected to my notepad then uh, my server will report full load that is what the existing policy do ok click on ok here we go our new load evaluator is ready to use application user lot evaluator for application support team and if you want to modify your load evaluator in any point of time just right click or click there in the modify load evaluator properties tab so how to apply this particular load evaluator to a server as we know in synapse 6.5 there is no synapse advanced tab so we need to create a new policy for doing that and just creating a new policy now oh, let me type that LA testing okay now let me drag down to what I need I'm just doing that okay I need a load evaluator name yep here we go so it associate a custom load evaluator with your synapse servers so I did that I just assigned my application support team load evaluator and the filters you can apply here you can either apply via in an OU or in a worker group so let me just go with worker group I'm just adding that okay here we go click on ok next that's it your policy your le applied to one policy which is indirectly applied to test work group and here we go how to let me put the priority to be higher uh, currently this two let me make it one just one second yep here we go now my early testing policy have the higher priority hope everybody enjoy this video please visit my blog citrixeasylearning.blogspot.in you are getting lot of stuffs there thanks a lot bye